Hey guys, so today I wanted to film a video all about merchandise training. Um, I wasn't really sure where to film it, so on my travels today I came to the Yacht and Beach Club and I'm currently sitting in the gazebo that we took this photo right here in. Um, and it's really quiet and nice and it looks like it might rain, so I don't think I'm going to be bothered. So I thought I would just sit and film it here. Um, but I wanted to film a video about merchandise training because I haven't done like a sit down video in a while. Um, also I wanted to do it because I just finished my training and um, I just wanted to tell you guys about it before I forget. Um, so I just want to go through day by day what we did, what I learned, um, and that stuff. So I guess let's just get right into it. So day one of training is going to be at Disney University. Mine was at 7.30 a.m. so I had to wake up at like 5 so I could get there in time. And it was called operations or intro to operations or something. Basically it's the most boring thing you'll ever do. And it's basically where you learn how to lift a box and how to stand properly and what your like red, yellow, and green zone is to stay in with your arms. It's super boring. Stay caffeinated. Even if you don't drink coffee, like force yourself to drink it because you will fall asleep. Um, later that day, I then had welcome to merchandise or something like that, where basically they just went in depth of what each merchandise role meant. So what was happening in merchandise, what you were doing, what your role actually was. Um, so they went in a little bit of what merchandising is, um, what exactly you're going to be doing on cash, that sort of thing. Um, that was about two hours. The whole day lasted, I think it was like eight hours. Um, so it was long, um, but it was all paid, so that's okay. Um, but that's basically what day one is going to look like at Disney University. Um, the rest of my stuff I did kind of out of order. So I'm just telling you the order I have mine in, but everyone had a different order that they did stuff in, but it all ended up working out. So my day two um, was merchantainment. Um, so that is where I went in and they taught us how to use the registers. So you go into a classroom and they tell you um, about the Disney dining plan, about how much stuff costs, about what the buttons do on the registers, how to use them, um, how to process U.S. cash, the different types of U.S. cash because different countries obviously have different money. Um, how to take credit cards, how to take traveler's checks, that sort of stuff. They go all in depth with you and then you get to practice on the register in training mode before you even get to your store um, to make sure you know how to use it. So my day three training was called Our Town. And what we did in our town is this is when I went to Disney Springs and had my first day in Disney Springs. So you go in and you go in a big room and they tell you all about Disney Springs and the history behind Disney Springs, um, what the like story is, and there's this huge long story that I don't even remember. I think it's too much personally. But anyway, they tell you all about um, Disney Springs and um, then you go on a little tour of Disney Springs and we went around, they showed us where everything is so we can direct guests where they need to go um, and it was very much an orientation day. Um, then after that we went and got our costumes, so um, they told us what we're going to be wearing, helped us size everything. Um, Disney sizes are about double what your regular size is, um, so don't be offended if your size is absolutely huge. Um, so just keep that in mind and yeah so we got all our costumes and costuming is really nice at Disney Springs because it's right next to the bus stop and parking so you can just change your costumes every day if you wanted to you don't have to wash them yourself or anything because costuming is literally right there I then had two days off where I went to the parks um, so that was awesome a lot of people did not have those two days off but I did which was absolutely great um, but then I went right into my very first day on site um, so at World of Disney so what I did was I went to Disney Springs and we waited in the costuming or cast services building um, for our trainer to come get us because obviously we had no idea what to do um, and then what we did is we walked to the location he showed me how to get there which was awesome because um, it's a little confusing it's about a seven to ten minute walk to get to World of Disney from um, the casting building so um, if you are at World of Disney remember that so we walked there and then what we did after that is um, we just got oriented with the place um, we went on on the floor a little bit um, and basically it was just my orientation of what to do that day that's also the day I got access to the hub 
I also forgot to mention that I don't get any special training in my role. If people did have special training such as alcohol or food and beverage along with merchandise, they would do that course after merchantainment on day two. So on day one, we did mainly um, how to merchantain. So just talking to guests, interacting with them, learning how to ask open-ended questions, um, learning how to just start up a conversation was all we did on day one and it was eight hours of that. So you know, that was a lot of fun. Um, but no, I had some great conversations with guests. We also went over to Disney Corner because that's the other store I work at um, and got oriented there too. Talked to a lot of the leaders and upper management and I got to meet a lot of people that day, which was great. The day after that, we did this thing called NCL, which is, or NLC, which is Next Level Courtesy. Um, so this is where you're once again interacting with guests. So you learn to engage with them, discover things about them, discover um, what exactly they're looking for, recommend products based on those discoveries, and then close. So closing is just, thanks, I agree. Um, I'm so glad you found what you needed. If you need any more help, just let me know, sort of thing. Or it's like, um, at the end of the day at the register, you can go, thank you, have a magical day before they leave. Um, so just stuff like that. So it's just the process of walking guests through when you say welcome to when you close. Um, Disney does say that they don't try to force products on guests. Um, as cast members, however, we do see some stuff like, hey, do you want to buy a reusable bag today with your purchase instead of a plastic one? Um, so, as far as I'm concerned, that is pushing things a little bit, but they call it recommending products instead of pushing them on other guests. Um, which I mean is just a fancy way of saying trying to get people to buy more stuff. So the next day of my training is when I was finally on register. Um, so I had my very first register day. Um, the whole day was basically just learning how to use the register, learning the Disney account style, um, which I still haven't mastered and honestly not many people use it. Um, when you actually get on the register, but how to process, making sure that we knew exactly what we were doing from the merchantainment course, but instead we were applying it to the actual store and actual situations, um, which was great. So I did learn a lot with that. Um, I'd done register before, and it's very similar to the POS systems I have worked with at other retail locations I've worked at before. Um, so that was awesome, and it was very basic, very straightforward. And then on the fourth day of our training, we did an assessment. Um, so this is when we have our test. It was about 100 questions long. It was super easy. Like, don't even stress about it at all. It was so easy. And even if you don't pass, like, your trainer can still pass you. So, like, literally do not worry about it at all. We also did more practice on cash, more practice on entertaining, just practicing everything all together, um, which was awesome. And then on my final day of training, we did stock. So we learned how to be an expediter, how to stock shelves, what's in the back, how everything's organized, um, how to take care of ink tags, and how to take care of the things that beep, and everything like that. So we learned how to do that, where everything's stored in the back, so we know where to look for it for guests, which was so helpful. I haven't actually done that on my own yet. I've never got that um, shift yet, which is totally fine. Um, but it's also nice because at World of Disney, when you're doing, like, when you're putting ink tags away, you're in the back, so they let you listen to, like, one Um, if you're just like sitting there in the quiet, just like pulling apart ink tags, um, that can get really annoying. So that's nice that they let us do that. Um, but our stock day was our final day, and it was once again very straightforward. You just go in, do the pick. Um, I'm not sure if other locations. So Disney Corner um, is different. So they have like an expediter, and floor stock is the same person. So you either are on floor one or floor two, and your job is just go around the store, fix everything. If a shelf is empty, go back and get it. Whereas World of Disney, we do this thing called the pick, um, which happens throughout the day at certain times where you go to the back, um, you get a list of everything that's sold, you put it in a big bin, like um, so the shelves are going to be restocked with the stuff that was sold, you bring it out to the floor and then the floor stocker people help um, put it back on the shelves to um, make sure that everything is going to be fully stocked that way instead of having people going back and forth because World of Disney is such a big store, it's a lot easier that they do it that way. So anyway, that is what merchandise training basically is. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Go check out my channel and subscribe. Um, I've been posting Disney vlogs like crazy, so make sure you go check them out. So thank you so much for watching.